Scribbling scrimble pants, welcome to Eurogamer. My name's Ian Higton, and oh my word, it's lovely to see all your lovely faces uh, staring right back at me through this little camera. Because I'm all on my own today, so uh, I love that I've already got 129 of you keeping me company here and in the chat. Uh, yeah, you're going to be here with me while I play through some Sanok map uh, gameplay for you for the next 90 minutes. If you don't know what that is, Sanok is the brand new map. Coming to PUBG very soon, it's in its final phase of testing, and it is a much smaller map than normal uh, PUBG, making uh, making the gameplay a lot quicker, a lot more brutal, uh, meaning I die even more frequently, so that's good, isn't it? Uh, welcome to one and all who's watching. I'll do some shout-outs once I jump from the plane or something. You may have noticed my uh, amazing outfit that I have in the, in the experimental test server, complete with jorts and flowery jacket. That's not the only new thing with the experimental test server, though. You also get the uh, get the chance to throw apples at each other in the lobby now. I think you get about five apples uh, each with their own little apple physics. And um, oh, the camera went underwater then. It is uh, entirely possible to throw an apple directly upwards and hit it with another apple. Boing. Creating double Bapple Bounces. hi -o! So, yeah, welcome to Eurogamer, everyone. Uh, it's E3 coming up. It's going to be a busy couple of weeks for me and the rest of the team Eurogamer. Uh, Johnny and Aoife aren't here at the moment because they're in the office packing their bags, packing all the camera equipment and everything for uh, their trip to LA, which uh, happens pretty soon. I'm going to be working all weekend on uh, E3 stuff as well. So there's going to be loads of videos coming up over the weekend, loads of E3 coverage. Um, so yeah, basically, it's just me today while those two get ready, pack, you know, pack their suntan and lotion and, you know, pack their travelling jorts and their comfy jorts and their sleeping jorts and, and, and their business jorts. Or maybe that's just my suitcase. Uh, either way... They're going to have a lovely time out in E3, and I'm going to be representing right here uh, as part of the home... Well, as the only person on the home team, now he shall not be named, has has left the team. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm just all on my own. All by myself. So if we have a quick look, look, it's an island. So this is a lonely island, and uh, E3 will also be a lonely island for me as well. Uh, thumbs up for sympathy. Jorts for days, says Lazy Brain. Jorts for days, indeed. So yeah, if you've not, um, if you've not got PUBG for the PC, if you've maybe got it for the Xbox, uh, or you've just not seen the Sanok map in action before, or maybe you've seen some of our earlier Sanok streams, uh, you'll see a lot of differences here. They've obviously they've given all the walls and things textures and stuff, which they didn't have the first time. We did a, a Sanok stream, or I did a Sanok video for Eurogamer. They've also added loads more trees. It's really jungly now. It's like really feels like a Southeast Asian jungle uh, with loads of old, you know, bamboo buildings and stuff inside. They've added new temples and things on top of that mountain to the top right of the plane, like where the propellers on the right are touching. There's a new temple there. There's also somewhere, I think it's that side, like the other side of the propellers, there is a cave uh, that goes into the ground. And inside that cave, there is like a lake and some trees and stuff. It's based on um, a real life cave with a, a like an, a habitat inside. And I cannot remember the name of it or where it is for the life of me. But... Um, I don't know if that is where it is. I'm going to try. I'm going to. I'm going to aim for it and see. See if I can jump down the middle of it. I believe it's in this direction. So we'll see if I can find it. Anyway, uh, as we jump in, let's do a shout out. Probably not going to be a shout out everyone, but I'll give it a quick go. Adrian Zilkowski, AJ Angel B, Anis Ben Benner Helm, uh, Anna Stindelli, Anthony Collinson, at Freebat, Bandy Marie. Bethany G, Chris Baker, Kyan, uh, Cian Farlow, Cal Arrett, 68, CP Crocs, 1, Declan Harris, Demo Time, Dobbo, 1930, Donna Young, Dougie Reverse Pro Gamer, Owen Maguire, Gavin UK, 86, Goendor, Harry, Mochen, Hockey Rup, Holly. And that's all the names I'm going to be able to do this time. Maybe Lazy Brain, Lazy Jane, Kuryu, Yuki, Keith. Cowie, Keith Cowie, Carl Richards and Jordan Mann, Jiminy Me Bob, Jacques Le Suave, Icarus Abides, Holly, 
Um, Michael Patterson, Megalomaniacs for you, Matt Aganji, Libby Bronk Turner, Lazy Jane. Uh, loads of people watching. Apologies, I didn't get all of you in. But here's this, uh, here's this inner temple with the pool. Sploosh! Uh, I'm probably going to get shot instantly by that dude who got there first. But yeah, this is, it's like a <clears throat> a whole under like underground cave system with uh, like a way out. You can get on the jet ski there and zip out of the tunnel. There's a bit of lag on the um, the old picking picking up the items. It seems. I can hear someone running around there. As if. Run away. Do I have any? I've got a bandage. That'll have to do. My aim is, uh, as usual. Super terrible. Ah, you little bastard. Oh, you little bastard. I saw you there. There he is. <gasps> you little bastard. You little bastard. Got him. Nice. Okay, let's have that level two helmet and three times scope. I'm going to swap the ump for that. I'm going to have that there. I'm going to have that there. I'm going to have that ammo. Reload that gun. Now, most importantly, I need to get heels. Not like high heels, although there is definitely time for that. Uh, no, I mean just put a bandage on. Right, let's put my participants back on. I got an ankle kill. Yeah, I shot a guy in the ankle and killed him. I'm the, the ankle murderer. I didn't expect to get a kill at all this stream, so uh, that's probably all you're going to get kill-wise. So uh, stick around, though, for the witty commentary and the lovely chat in the comment section. Because <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I'll fear my way th to failure for the rest of it. Right, I'm going to put that on single mode fire. Oh, what's that? Is that the M24? Oh, the M24 is in... Normal drop now. I think uh, I think I'll leave the. Ooh, hold on. I'll take the five five six. Actually, I think I saw a bag over here somewhere, on one of the uh, one of the other platforms, perhaps. Can't remember where I saw it. Let's see what this guy's got. He's got a bag. There we go. Some of that. A butt pan. Big armor. A level three armor. That guy missed. Sucker. Ooh. High heels aren't particularly practical in this uh, environment, says Lazy Jane. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what environment you're in. You've always got to look fabulous. Right. Uh, well, so I'll take the 5.56. Don't really like the M16. But I'm going to take the 5.56 just in case I come across a M4 somewhere because I do like the M4 I think that's my favourite gun in this game so yeah this is the brand they only added this kind of cave co there's an M4 they only added this cave complex recently so uh, it's nice to nice to check it out it's also nice to check it out while there's not very many people around it's been uh, it was just me and that other other dude nice and quiet but it seems like there's uh, a lot of loot down here. There's actually quite a lot of loot on this map in general. There's cars driving around above. Uh, yeah, quite a lot of loot in this map in general just because of its small surface area. I shall double up on my painkillers bucket. Might as well. <clears throat> Go for the win, bro. We believe, says Feed the Rooster. Thanks for the confidence boost, Feed the Rooster. I shall um, I shall give the rooster an extra grain of, ch of feed for you. 
in your honor. I keep hearing a car driving around up, up, up top. I was wondering if it was going to surprise me by someone like, you know, just jumping through the hole in the roof, but I don't know. Oh, I'm out of the safe zone. Well, that's uh, should have paid attention. Where do I need to be? I need to be going. Oh. So I need to be heading out of here kind of right. I might be able to go right around the map. <clears throat> I've got plenty of boosts on. Let's just have a double check. So I'm going to come out of here. I think the best thing for me to do is going to be to go right round and go up the the middle, but that's going to be that's a very dangerous route to go. Oh, shite! Took a took a little stinger there from someone on the other side. I was going to go all the way around the island. Shall I still do that? Maybe I shall. Because well, with this map, you really oh no no actually that was a bad idea. So what I did there was made a bad choice because I've got fucking miles to go right around the base there. I thought I only had the little tip to, to clear. Hello Hellenistic Ham. Sorry for mispronouncing about 90% of the names in my original shout out by the way. Oh no! Oh no! How am I out? Of, oh, I've run out of gas. Oh god! Absolute nightmare. My health is chunking. Oh, this is this is terrible. I've been. I've I've made some mistakes in my time. But this is one of the most silly. How am I going? Am I going to be able to even get up? I think this is the end of me. I'm going to die amongst the low res rocks of Sanok. Oh, you fuck! Feels like the gas is a little bit more hurty burny than it normally is. Right, I've got two choices here: jeep or search for meds. I'm going to take. I'm going to risk it. Oh, that risk didn't pay off. Come on, have some meds. Have some meds. You've... Oh, yes. Okay, whack these bandages on. And then Jeep to safety. I believe, I believe in me. This is what happens when you are Team Euro Gamer. <laughs> <laughs> says demo time to be honest even if i was with the rest of the team this is still the kind of um, badly planned shenanigans you can expect from us from team euro gamer who aren't the best at this game nay the worst right on the plus side we're we're on the move fuck I don't know my way around this map very well yet. Is Am I going to be able to go off-road here without getting into too much tr No. No, I'm not. Come on. Come on. Up you go, little one. There we go. Off-road. This... This 4x4 feels a little bit slip slide surprise today. I'm not sure how far I've got to go, but my health is fuck. Once again, fucking pretty low. I think the gas is pushing, that's why. Oh come on! Stop putting obstacles in my path! You bastard! Just a nice clear route. Why? How is? How is it? Have they reduced the amount of gas in all the vehicles in this game? I'm coasting this. Have they reduced the amount of gas available in the vehicles? Because that's two vehicles now that have run out of run out of lovely petrols. While I've been trying to 
Just have a nice drive. Oh, fuck. Let's have a quick peek through the window, see if I can see any eels, because... Uh, there's no bandages or anything in there, is there no med packs? Bum holes, bum holes, bum holes. It's fine, it's fine. I should just steer away from all the gunshots that are happening over there. I wonder if it's worth searching that temple. How long have I got? Oh, 50 seconds. I don't even know if it's worth searching the temple. Some buildings up ahead, though. It's just, I'm just one, one hit. And that's me, goners. At least I'm wearing the most uh, camouflage uh, outfit there. You know, no one's going to spot me running around. There's a lot of four times. Loads of four times and extended. I'm going to swap my three times for four times for that gun. Come on, just need a bit of health. Just give me another hit, man. Uh, oh, just scopes, scopes for days, mate. Scopes for days. I'm gonna head away from the gunfire again. It was all happening over there, so I'm hoping that the coast area over here is a little bit quieter. There's more buildings over here. Just all, even like a pack, pack, of five, pack of five bandages, that'll be fine. A little fizzy drink, a little, a little can of pop, just to, you know, perk me up a bit. That'll be fine. I'm not fussy. Just, uh, just anything apart from Dr. No Health. Oh, yeah. A little bit of magic's just happened. A little bit of magic. Oh, a big bit of magic all over the floor. All right, let's eat that first. Oh, we've had a five pound dollary do drop there. Sounds like you need some gas money. Thank you very much, Terrible Gamer YL, who's uh, donated five pounds into the super chat. You're a very kind human being, sir. Very kind indeed. Um, thank you very much. I'll use that for uh, topping up the old PUBG shagging wagon. Pain's very loud. I'm glad that... I'm glad I've had this little quiet moment. I was, I, I'm not going to lie. Inside, I may have looked calm and, you know, solid as a rock and, like, super on the ball and, you know, confident and unbeatable. But inside, I was happy. So you may have noticed that they've also given some detail to the interiors. They've got little pictures here. They've got a calendar. What year is this? It doesn't say what year it is. So we can't work out any more of the law here. But they do have black bin bags full of crap stapled to the walls and right next to a, a, is that a walk or some scales. Either way, fire hazard. Well, it's not a fire hazard if it scales. It's a fire hazard if it... I'm going to change the subject. Right, where do I need to go? Ooh. I've got 30 seconds to get across this water. 20 left alive. I think... Stealthy does it. Oh. Oh, it's a good job I didn't dive into that water. I'd have, I'd have broken my bloody neck. Boop. No one will know where I am now because I am a fish. Oh no, I'm swimming incredibly slowly. And the gas is coming in. Swim faster, little man. And I'm drowning. Oh, I did a, I did a bit of a drown there. Come on, come on. God, even I can swim faster than that and I haven't done swimming for like 20 years. All right. So look at this lovely, like, lovely kind of jungly setting, though. They've last time I played this had dynamic weather on it as well. It I think it might still have it. It seems a bit misty. 
Sometimes it rains and stuff on here. Uh, still some of the textures and things. I guess that might be the bridge because it's far away. It's low res, but that rock is looking a bit shady. But, you know, it's still kind of like beta testing this map and, you know, smoothing out the the rough edges. Uh, but, yeah, it's... um. I mean, it's a beautiful looking map. It's it's probably one of the better looking maps. I like the I like the theme. I, I like this Southeast Asian theme, like the jungle warfare. But yeah, I, I am I am technically terrible at this map. It doesn't help that I've got a bright orange gun sticking out my back. I guess just on the edge. I'm gonna I'm gonna. Oh, fuck. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be nice and cowardly. Sounds like someone's on the opposite side of the river. overhead doing a lovely little dropsy not on my location please sir 18 left alive and I do have to push forwards I'm gonna push up and round although I will have the high ground that way but it's also pushing towards uh, some gunfire I heard so <laughs> it's brown jorts time should have worn the brown pants Went to cinema and saw uh, Deadpool 2 the other, the other day. I enjoyed that. That's very good. Didn't like it as much as the first film. But I think, you know... The, uh, the novelty of seeing Deadpool live action and being all rude and naughty has kind of worn off a little bit. There is a, oh, there's a, oh, fuck, oh, no. Oh, no. I'm right by the gas, and there's a bloody draw. <gasps> oh, there he is, look, fuck. He hasn't seen me yet. Oh, no, there's, there's two. I'm in the gas still. Ow. Oh. oh, I died. The gas got me. Were they teaming up, then? They were very close to each other, and uh, it looked like they were. Ha it didn't look like they were fighting each other. Just gonna say there. I think I got cheated. My chroma keys all off as well. Um, let's have a look at my death cam. Well, it's gonna be the gas that got me, isn't it? It's just gonna be the same as before. Uh, I'm definitely playing solos, but they, those two. Look at the, look how close those two were together. I call shenanigans. They were definitely teaming. Definitely teaming. Uh, right, exit to lobby. And while that's loading, I'll try and fix this green mess there. One of my lights, one of my bulbs has gone, basically. So the lighting is completely different to how it, I, I normally have it. Got, uh, got a kill, though. Got a kill, though. 32 hit points. So... Uh, you know, just 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 goes to show I played better when the others aren't around. Anyway, they just put me off. Oh, well. went blurry. Right, one man squad. Oh shit! Oh, they weren't cheating. I'd just gone into, <laughs> I'd gone into a squads game by myself. Fuck! All right. Well, that was a learning. Uh, experience uh, video capture filters no filters well that's that's me feeling silly those people shouldn't have been teaming up anyway even though it was a squads match 
Sausage menu says laser brain. It was. Those cheaters playing that right mode, says Josh Martindale. I know, right? How could they cheat by playing the right mode? Only on Team Eurogamer, says Hillwolf. <clears throat> you did great against all those teams, though, says Parrot Kelly. I'm quite surprised, actually, considering uh, that other guy was on his own. Oh, this might be one of the... The fuck? Oh. Oh, God. This might be one of the buildings with the creepy mannequin rooms in. Is it? Is it? Is it? There's creepy mannequins in this now. And there's one building which is just like ultra creepy mannequins. Uh, let me see if I can find it. It's like a... It's like a... Is it? it might be this one up here, actually. It's, it's a building like this. Fuck, fuck, get out of my way, you bastard. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Here we go, look at these monstrosities. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at it, it's creepy. Creepy, like... Pupilless eyes. Can I get a good view on it? Creepy pupilless eyes. Horrible thin eyebrows. Like alien grey skin. Listen, mate. I'm trying to look at the aliens, you, you big punchy bum. Big punchy bum hole. Yeah, that creepy. And they're all the same as well. Look at that. I don't think they're. I think they're all posed in exactly the same way. It's like someone on the uh, level design team, control V, control C, it everywhere. <laughs> Scott Jackson's a bit turned on though, so um, at least we found his kink. <clears throat> Far Cry Five level creepy says uh, Melanchthon seven three three two. Oh, I don't know. I think it's a bit more creepy than Far Cry Five's creepy mannequins, you know. Not too much, but where should we go? Like, boot camp is going to be super, like, this will be right, I'm going to be dead, like, instantly. So maybe I shouldn't go there. No, let's go here. So this, this here, um, I'll probably die instantly as well, but this here is a brand new location. This, uh, this, I think this was only added in this most recent update. It's kind of like a mountaintop temple. Last time I went here, the last time... I can remember playing this. This top of this mountain was completely bare. Not like rawr, but bare as in naked of all stuff. But now, uh, yeah, they've, it's, it's some kind of uh, nice little temple complex with some mystical bells and some old, like, moss-covered ruins. It's quite nice. Have I, have I got anyone coming down with me? Doesn't doesn't immediately look like it. Uh, there's a car here. So you got like the big temple bell there. Ba dong. Oh, there is someone here. Oh no. Oh, what? Why? I'm probably. Gonna... Yep. Oh. Oh, there we go. I died. <clears throat> I died before I even heard the uh, the bullet of the gun. Which uh, I guess is accurate to real life, and also network lag. <clears throat> uh, if you shoot those bells, they do not make a bong noise, by the way. They do not even make a doink no noise. <clears throat> they make no noise at all, which is exactly the noise that the gun made when it killed me. But never mind. So I get for trying to demo my massive bell to the audience. Abram. Richard G reckons mannequins are inanimate objects that have a personal space, so they're super creepy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Remember, Ian, guns are important. They are important, Ian Stanbridge, they are, but I thought showing off the location was more important i didn't see anyone landing near me to be fair i thought oh i'm clear to have a little tour turns out i weren't i weren't clear at all i were in fact seconds from death seconds 
from a little bullet in the face. Wow, matchmaking's slow today on this. Mercutio77 says, I can't believe you've done this. I love that video. <clears throat> Lassus is tired. Oh, poor Lassus. Have a little lie down, Lassus. Pull a, put a little blanket over your lap or something and keep this on and just have a close your eyes and doze off to the uh, to the relaxing sounds of me playing PUBG, uh, only to be woken up with a start when I scream and yelp because someone has made me jump. This isn't a new location, this little temple, but it has been tarted up a bit. Lots of undergrowth put down now, lots of um, textures. When it first was here, it was just the late, you know, the the checkerboard beta textures. Beta textures, I'm not American. The checkerboard beta textures um, uh, all over the place. But no, yeah, yeah, it looks pretty. PUBG's never been the most stunning looking game, but it does have its moments. Not that mountain there, though. <laughs> I just can't believe I was saying it has its moments of good lookingness at exactly the same moment as I. Uh, Turn to the camera to face Play-Doh Mountain over there. Uh, when do you think they'll have an option for putting jorts on your character? Says <coughs> Jacob Linham, who's very kindly dropped $4.99 into the top chat. Into the top chat, into the live chat. I've got I've got some jorts. I don't know if you can see them very well, but... They're not proper jorts because they're below the knee, but they're as close to jorts as we're going to get at the moment, I think. Next time I see Brendan Green, I'll have a word. Hopefully he'll be at Gamescom this year. I'm going to Gamescom this year. I saw Brendan uh, last year at Gamescom. So hopefully he'll be there this year. And I'll, I'll, I'll pester him about jorts if he is. Uh, because um, he's given... he's Right, so they've given Dr. Disrespect some weapon skins. He's given Shroud some weapon skins. What do they do that's special? Yeah, they're amazing at the game. And yeah, they've got like billions of Twitch followers, but come on. I mean, they cannot yelp as well as Team Eurogamer. So where's Team Eurogamer's uh, custom butt pan? Where's Team Eurogamer's Eurogamer branded jorts? That's what I'm going to say to uh, my good friend Brendan when I, when I see him uh, at Gamescom. Again, I'm going to be like, Brendan, Brendan. My good mate, uh, before I ask you why you haven't been replying to any of my emails or phone calls or text messages or uh, SMSs or BBMs for, uh, you know, the past year, before I ask you that, can I ask you why you haven't given us Eurogamer branded jorts? Richard there with the super burn. Ian deserves a special death cam. <laughs> uh, it's true. I don't really want to die very quickly again. Maybe I'll go and maybe I'll go and have a, a float over to the quarry. See what's going on over there. <clears throat> Dougie's uh, saying, lovely moderator Dougie there saying, don't forget to give the stream a thumbs up and hit the hit the like button and subscribe if you're enjoying it. He is a very clever young man, that Douglas. Thank you very much, Dougie. Ian, are there any plans for a fourth member of Team Eurogamer, Mrs. Stuart Mansour? Who knows? Who knows? I can't say out. Maybe not. Maybe. Who knows? Just have to be... Just have to... Just have to see. I don't know. Probably have to think about something like that after Eurogame. Uh, after bloody E3. After E3. We definitely need a Euro, uh, Eurogame a level 2 helmet. So this... So the quarry... She not knew, but this pathway through the middle of the quarry, this raised pathway, is new. I definitely don't remember this raised pathway. Um, the quarry was added in like the second update. Oh, nice to see I, I cleverly picked the building with no guns in again. Um, Helicopter outside my house. They're searching for me again. Smash the like button, says random game, uh, random gamer, random guy. I agree. Smash it. 
Oh god, someone's close. Did I pick up that gun then? Yes. Okay, well, well we've not got the best of guns. There's real. There is a real lag, it seems, between me pressing the old pickup button and your jaw wearing wonder here actually picking up anything. Will Eurogamer be running around E3 asking random people if they want to be in Team Sausage Aim? Says Goendor. Well, it's an exclusive uh, club, Goendor. I, I don't think. Uh, I don't. I think the selection process is going to have to be a little bit more uh, intensive. I mean, they're going to have to prove that they can panic in almost every situation. Uh, they're going to need to be able to mess up even the simplest of shots. Um, in the stupidest of ways and they're going to have to display the ability to make really bad decisions at really inopportune moments i think that's uh that's that's the basic basic team euro gamer vibe there i think that's what it boils down to chokey chokes no level what the fuck was that that was a weird jump Uh, all right. It's taking me ten hours to pick things up. <clears throat> right, AKM, lovely. Let's do it like this. And is that helping at all? Not particularly. Still a bit laggy. Uh, I might keep my. I might keep my sexy uh, anger shotgun. <clears throat> Keep that single fire, so I've got a little bit more accuracy at range. Then I can have my my auto shot for long range. Uh, hi, and are you doing any H1Z1 videos with either Eurogamer or Platform Thirty Two? I'm going to be streaming some H1Z1 after this stream on my uh, personal channel, Platform Thirty Two. I'm going to be starting an hour an hour after this one finishes at six p.m. I'm going to be streaming some some uh, some Hone Zone. Some PS4 home zone if you want to check some of that out. Uh, what we got here? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna. Sorry, S12K. I'm swapping you out for a Scarl. Scarl! So get rid of that now as well. Get rid of the pistol as well, so I don't have as many guns to scroll through. And when I scroll, inevitably scroll the mouse wheel the wrong way around. Cheers for that link, Dougie. Could I join Team Eurogamer just so I can fix Ian's PC? Says Kenneth Donnelly. I think my PC's working all right at the moment, isn't it? Unless it's unless it's doing something I haven't noticed. You've you've you've, you've got me worried now that it's broken. I don't think it's broken. More 764 moo and a lovely scope. Alright, so we're changing it now. We're changing. We're going to have the AK 47 now as the auto close range and the Scar L as a little bit of a distance, distancey weapon. Am I in space zone? I am in the space zone. Hey, Sophie Lane. Uh. You mean provide him with a proper surface for his mouse? I mean, how um, how untidy is my room? I don't know how well this will work because of the chroma key, but I can show you the surface I use for my mouse, which is probably is uh probably explains a little bit about the sausage aim. I can hear a vehicle. So I've got a sofa with a oh god, I've got a sofa with a god. What's that check? Got a so oh, fuck. Yeah, bastard. This is not helping. So it's just there, like I have I have my mouse mat next to me on my sofa basically. Which is why my aim is I mean to be fair, my aim would be rubbish if it, if I was using it on a desk. But yeah, it's right down by the side. <clears throat> Ian, please create some more mischief in Stardew Valley. Well, uh that's what Sundays are for. Uh, who wrote that? Hellwolf. Uh, 
That's what Sundays are for. Stardew Valley mischief. That doesn't look like a comfortable way to play, says Parrot Kelly. Um, yeah, you, you think you're right. It's not. It is not optimal, that's for sure. Fuck. Someone's turning up. I need to get rid of that. I need that on there. I need to get rid of that. I need that. I need that. I need all these ammos. I'm going to drop them. I'm going to pick up that med kit. I'm going to get shot in the head, probably. I'm going to drop that 9mm. I don't know how I got that. I'm going to reload this gun. Pick up more ammo. Is that as good as I'm going to drop that holographic sight? That'll do. I'm still in the safe zone. I've got 6 times scope on an M4. And we just wait for the bombs to, to drop. Hey, Lars! How's it going? He says, yay, team Ian. Oh, uh, yeah, my camera feet. I think someone's saying, I'm not wearing a backwards Hawk, Hawk and T-shirt. My camera is flipped. I used to have my camera in that side of the screen. Uh, but obviously I was covering up the map for most of the PUBG screens. So I moved it there. But without it being flipped, it looks like I'm facing off screen when I'm playing the games. Which is kind of a bit weird. Just looks a bit wrong. So I had to flip it so it looks like I'm facing into the screen, you see. I haven't had a chance to play Mario Tennis Aces, I'm afraid. Is that is that a new game coming out soon? I don't really know. I don't really follow Nintendo stuff much, but Johnny Ethan might get to play it in uh, at E3. Right. I hear a vehicle close, but. I think it's time to move. I've seen enough of the inside of that shed to last me a lifetime. Definitely hear some gunfire coming from over there. I'm zooming out with six times, which is nice. Eh, can't see anyone though. Oh. I'll turn my headphones up a bit. Just in case I hear some footsteps in the distance. Gas is pushing in. I'm just uh, laying on my belly. Taking in the... What? Another red zone? You bastard. Some shooting. Maybe it's from up the top of the hill there. M24 sniper rifle. Mario Tennis Beta. Oh, there was a Beta, was that? Okay. Ian Stanbridge is saying. I missed it. I didn't play it, no. Sam Robinson, not Sam Robinson saying. Ooh. Just, I'm just, I'm just cowering. I haven't seen any action here. I was, I've been having a lovely time chatting to you lot. Press F for Timmy and says uh, McCrazy. Oh, thank you very much. It's very, it's nice to know that. Uh, I have your support in this uh, most terrifying of times, especially seeing as, uh, you know, it's it's always, I do a lot of streams by myself, but I also do a lot of streams, you know, I normally do streams with, with uh, the rest of the Eurogamer team nowadays, so it's always a little bit nerve-wracking going, going by, going on my own, because I know, I know some of you have favourites that aren't me, which is the wrong choice, obviously, but, you know, I'm not going to judge you on it. Uh, so, you know, you might be missing them, but you've just got me for now, so I'm, 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 thank you very much for the support. Uh, 
Right, I'm running towards where the gunfire was, which is not smart at all. Look at that, it's dropping down there. A jungle setting and a guy in a fabulous outfit. I think Ian is Pagan Min. Hells yeah. I was actually uh, logged on to Far Cry 5 the other day to play the hour, Hours of Darkness DLC. I've done a video about that, by the way, on a lovely channel called youtube.com forward slash Eurogame. You should check them out and like and subscribe if you, if you want. But yeah, like uh, lots of info on the Hours of Darkness DLC, which has just launched uh, today. And I logged on to play that and uh, it gives you some gives you some new outfits, some Vietnam uh, army uniforms. And I also noticed that they've added loads of other uh, costume, uh, special costumes, and one of them is uh, a, a pagan men suit. So you can, and like a pagan men haircut, so you can run around Hope County looking like pagan men, which is, is kind of cool. They've also had loads of masks, like creepy clowns, and you can turn your head into a tennis ball and things. It's, it's very, it's a bit, bit weird, a bit weird. I'm just like running around in the open here like an idiot. All I need to do is find a nice bit of cover. See all the trees. It's there's a lot of lot of cover for people to get stuck on the rocks. A lot of cover for people to hide in and behind so many murder bushes. I mean Eva's gonna love it when this map finally goes live. She's just gonna be darting from Bush to bush like a startled squirrel. Ooh. Squirrels hide in bushes? Probably not. Uh, like a startled badger. This badger? No, they live in kind of dens, don't they? I don't know. I don't know what lives in a fucking bush. Should be down from bush to bush, like some kind of analogy. All the costumes are kind of pointless unless you're playing co op or multiplayer, Gavin. But yes, I agree. When you die, you see yourself when you die. There's a lot of shooting over this direction. I'm like, I kind of like, I'm in two minds because I know as soon as I see someone, I'm likely to die. But also, I want to try and get a little bit of action for. It'll be action. Doing my finest duck walk around the map. Where are they? At least, uh, at least, it's all against all this time. When he left alive again. Stay in the shadows. No one will spot my uh, lovely flowery jacket this way. Six times scope may be a little bit extreme if I decide to push this building. Ooh. Some snipes. Someone's sniping over here. Oh, fuck a duck. Oh, Jesus, piss. I don't know where that was from, but that whizzed past my head and made me do a little poop in my pants. Running, 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 running. Yeah, bust it. Got to keep my head moving. I always get headshot by car 98s in these kind of situations. Oh, it's, it's, there's too many bloody leaves. They're all moving, Viewingtons. Oh. Pray for winter quickly so I can see through the through the foliage. Screw you, leaves. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, it's a bush. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Okay, gas pushing in. I am not in the safe zone. There might be someone pushing up from behind me though. Wait till the gas comes. Don't ruin the jorts, Ian, says Holly. Well, I nearly did, Holly. <gasps> Someone I saw someone behind that. They carried on running down the hill, perhaps. I may have done. There. Fuck! Oh, you bastard! How did he know I was there? Absolute. How did he know? I only noticed him the second before he pulled the trigger. Let's find out. So the the plane masked my uh, approach. Oh, I was I was I was well in with the shot there. Oh my word! What what a camera angle! Oh oh oh! That was a big gun. Oh god, they had a lovely gun. Oh, they had a they had a very big gun. Don't think they cheated either. I was just. Uh, I think what happened was that initial bullet that nearly hit me. Um, it's made me shit my pants. <laughs> that put, put me on edge slightly. It's fine. It's fine because in PUBG, you live to fight another day, even if you do get shot. Nom 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 nom. Can't believe he shot a hole in my jorts. I did do a die angel beat, you're correct. <clears throat> That's fine though, because now I get to throw apples at this lady's ass. Boing! Boing! You want an apple? You want an apple as well, do you? Boing! In your face. Boing! I'll tell you what, this is a fun game. You can't, you, you, you can only play it with, like, teams. Fucking grass. Grass isn't a fun game. So what we do when I'm playing this with my mates is I throw an apple in the air, and then my mate tries to throw an apple and hit it in the air, and it's it's doable. Like he Obviously, they throw it from a different angle, but yeah, yeah. We've, we've, we've had some colliding apples before. It's, it's a very fun game. Put the, oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Why can't I hit? What, what? What's going on with my? There we go. There we go. I seem to have infinite apples. Oh no, I've just got. Used to only have five, but it seems like you have many more than five now. Ian, ask Brendan to add a jort forts to the map. Ooh, yes. As usual, you're making me want to drink a Pepsi now, says Down Under the Sun. I don't really, like... I only really drink Pepsis and stuff when I'm streaming. Um, it's the caffeine. Caffeine keeps me, you know, chatty and alert-ish. I don't know. <clears throat> Cool, this is taking a long time. Look, everyone's everyone's throwing apples for miles. It's apples for days. Apples for days. Boink. 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 It's time. It's time to punch a guy in the shirt. Don't you just love these little side error games people come up with? Tee hee. Wait, demo time's in my game? Oh no! Oh no. Well, good job this stream is 60 seconds ahead. And perhaps I will uh, get away with being stream sniped. I want an Apple fight only mate as optional zero. Yeah! Me too. Right, where are we going? So we've done the, the we've done the Bell Temple, not brilliantly, but we've done it. Should we go in boot camp? See what they've done with boot camp? See if they've boot camp was always 
quite an intricately designed place. Not as intricately designed as Paradise Resort or whatever it's called. Uh, Paradise Resort, yeah, that's, that's exactly what it's called. Uh, but still, uh, it's quite... It's, it's a very busy place. I'll probably die quite quick. <clears throat> but we shall see. I'm going to land on the Y-Wing, which is what I kill, call the building, which is shaped like a Y-Wing. Sensible. Sensible. Someone else is going for the Y-Wing. And someone else is going for the Y-Wing, and it looks like I'm not going to land on top of the Y-Wing. I'm going to Gonna have to go through this. Ooh. Let's get some armor. Let's get. Some, let's pick up some armor at a, at a very slow rate. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, come on, quick, quick, quicker, quicker. None of them were at me, thank God. Change weapon. Reload. Oh, fuck. oh, you bastard! Kill a man while he's drinking a can of Coke. <sighs> well, it's me dead then. See, my plan there was to, um, my plan there was to, to boost up and then go fighting. Because I would have been like kind of healing while I was getting shot, but uh, unfortunately, uh, someone, uh, I didn't realise there were stairs there. <laughs> the the stairs that I was staring right at, I didn't realise they were there. Uh, had some proper meerkat stairs there, says Richard. Do do do. Why was he taking painkillers? Wasn't even injured, uh, says Paul Brady. It's because if you boost up before a combat zone, the boosts heal you over time. So if you get shot, you're already healing if you get shot. So it's always good to boost up if just before you, like normally when you're in the final circle and you know you're just about getting to a fight, because then you've got a little bit of extra protection along with, you know, your armor as well. You've also got some regenerating health at the same time. <clears throat> it was painkillers, not Coke for Coca Cola. Even even though even though even then, even though what's that? Is that a, oh, I From this angle there, that now looks like a that bottle now looks a little bit like a grenade. Have an apple in the back of your your head. Oh, oh my god, that guy just a oh You're alright down there. You're alright down there. Have an apple. Boosty, boosty, boost. Gonna climb through a window and jump on a wall. I'm gonna throw an apple at a tree. I'm gonna walk down some stairs. I'm gonna jump in the air. I'm gonna throw another apple at a tree. I'm gonna throw an apple in the air. Throwing apples. I don't care. Throwing apples in your face. I am fucking apple ace. I am throwing apples right up in your face. Gonna throw an apple in your face for days. It's my apple song and I'm playing PUBG. Why won't it spawn me into a game or three? That's my song about throwing apples in PUBG. You can buy that uh, and plenty of other song, other songs on uh, the uh, brand new album Eurogamer Sing the PUBG Hits. Uh, it's available in all good record stores and downloadable uh, places right now. And uh, I fully predict it's going to still be in the charts by Christmas time. It will probably be Christmas number one. You heard it here first. Put your bets in into the bookies for Christmas number one. It's going to be Ian's PUBG Apple song. Give us some E3 predictions before you die, Ian, says Kenny I Wound. I mean, uh, I predict there will be games. I don't know, there will be games. I mean, I, I don't... I could, 
right uh 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 rage two <laughs> fallout 76 i can't i can't do it I, I i know some games that i don't know if they've been announced yet so i can't just in case i accidentally say something bad <laughs> i can't do it sorry <laughs> Obviously, Half-Life 3 confirms as Revel Hannibal. Damn! You read the same emails as me? Not really. Not really, Half-Life 3. <clears throat> right, where are we going? What haven't we done? Tambang, thank you, ma'am. Paradise Resort? It'll be another quick one if I do Paradise Resort. It's always quite pretty. Maybe I'll go past that. Maybe I'll, no, tap mock. I don't like tap mock. That's the logging farm. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go a little bit out of the way, and then I'm gonna wait, work my way south, and hopefully check out an, an emptier than usual paradise resort. <clears throat> Thank you, night cat. <clears throat> Look at me. Just a glorious jorts wearing man with his Elton John glasses and his floral jacket floating gracefully down towards the seaside. It's a, it's a lovely day here. It's a lovely day in Sanok as uh, Ian Hinton glides down from the skies and lands gracefully at the foot of a pier. His first call is to snaffle up some loot, preferably something he can use to defend himself with. Here he finds an M16. Not his favourite gun, but it may be enough to attract a mate in these dangerous times. AK-47s, however, they're definitely worthwhile for the schnaffle. Let's get rid of that. Think of it as your 70s upholstery jacket, <laughs> says Jill Balls. I will never not think of it as that now. Right, what have we got? Uh, let's have a... Uh, oh, that's not... Full auto for the ack and... Uh, Single shot for the old M16 for now. Actually, should have that for the assault rifle. You bastard! I'm just running around grabbing some stuff. It's nice, nice, it's nice, nice, lovely sunny day. Thought I had some footsteps in this uh, thing then. Emil Molotov. What's this? Three times. Okay. Three times for you. Two times for you. What is this? Grip. What is this? No. Have an available schnaffle. Hello to all 427 people watching right now. Uh, it's lovely to have you here on a, on a Tuesday. A little bit of PUBG on the Tuesday here on Eurogamer. If you've just joined and you're like, oh, Johnny and Eve are pretty bloody quiet today. It's true, they are. Uh, but it's okay. They haven't left like Chris did. They are leaving, but they're coming back. They're leaving for E3 soon, so they're packing their bags. They're, you know, they're putting, the, putting the camera equipment in the little camera bags, cleaning the lenses, <laughs> dusting off the microphones. Um, packing the suntan lotion because it's a bit sunny out in LA this time of year. Oh yeah, look, the, the, the fuel's pretty low on this one as well. I do have to head in inwards. Inland! I did do a name trance, Peter Bateman. It wasn't the best. I made a lot of mistakes because I was trying to uh, 
trying to guide myself into a hole at the time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was uh, a hole in the ground, you know. I, I accomplished I accomplished it slightly, but not to not. It wasn't the best naming trance I've ever done. Let's let's put it that way. So I'm gonna don't need to ow. Don't need to alert everyone to my location. That's French for location, just in case you didn't know. I do need to find Le Bag. That's French for the bag. Ah! It's French for the bag. Fuck off! I'm having a lovely time. Stop shooting at me. <laughs> Bastard. Rerun. Yeah! Up your ass. Tee and that's the power of hiding. Nom 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 nom. Gonna take all your stuff. I totally helped. I totally yelped there. But it's fine. Love you. Love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh. And I'll have you. And I'm gonna put you back there. I'm gonna put you back there. Oh no. You're a vehicle. I'm gonna have you. Yeah. Shit. What? Can I have you? Can I have you? Can I have you? Uh... Drove away. He knew what was... He knew what was... He knew what was good for him. It was a run away. He would run away. He would run away with you. Ian, I have a hug. Hug. Ah, oh, thank you, Peter Fletcher. Oh, am I in a... Oh, no. Shit. I was... I was so... engrossed in the schnaffle, I didn't realise that the gas is here. I have you now. This is right towards some shooting McBangs. Oh no! Ah, oh, you bastard! Oh, 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 oh! Got run over by my own car after I died. Oh, the indignity! Oh, that's my fault for getting uh, getting a little bit involved, a little bit too involved with the schnaffs there. How did I die? Oh look, they heard me coming. I knew I was driving towards gunfire. I just didn't know where the gunfire was. Oh, there's more than one person shooting at me as well, so that's uh that was that was uh that was that was excellent uh work there. Excellent work there for me! Okay, I'm counting that one as another Ian ran himself over, says Nightgate. What? You can't. That doesn't count as an Ian ran himself over. Can you play in first person, Ian, says Rami. I mean, technically, I could play in first person. Because you are able to in this game. But can I play in first person? No, I can't. I'm even worse. <laughs> oh, dear. There's more dignity in being run over in your car when you're dead than being run over by your own car when you're alive. Well, I don't know who that's ever happened. Uh, I don't know who that's happened to ever. But it definitely wasn't me. 
I definitely never ran myself over with my own car in this game. It's not happened. It's, I don't don't listen to anyone who 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 tells you these things. It's it's lies. What the? Oh, that is a apple. That is a bouncy fucking apple. That. Oh. What? Ada. Boing. Oh, they. That was a big ricochet there. Whang. Oh, whang. Whang. Um. I've never, never run myself over in this game. Don't know what you're talking about, Angel Beat. Don't know what you're talking about. Don't know what you're talking about. What a lovely hell there. Look at all these lovely peoples. Have it, have an, I'm going to throw an apple in this guy's testicles. Bapple nuts. Bapple nuts. Bapple nuts. Who's this? Listen, listen, chap. Do you want a bapple nuts? Is that what you're saying? Bapple nuts. Bapple nuts. All the bapple nuts for you. All the bapple nuts. What the? Ha 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 ha! You and your bapples. Oh, just oh. Ta. Hi everyone, have I missed any chicken dinners? You've missed uh, 32 chicken dinners, Stephen Robson. I'm afraid I've played 32 matches and I've won each one. It's been fucking crazy. It's been crazy. Absolutely, absolutely nuts. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, so if you're a fan of Far Cry 5, I know a lot of you like Far Cry 5. Because uh, I do. I like Far Cry games. Far Cry 5's uh, Hours of Darkness DLC came out today. I think you can only play it if you buy the Season Pass. I'm not sure if you can buy it separately or not. I'm not 100%. The Far Cry 3 Classic came out last week, which you can only get if you have the Season Pass. It comes out proper for everyone next month, or, or this month, but on the 26th. Um, but if you want to see whether or not the Season Pass is worth your money, I think the Season Pass is like 24 quid, 24.99. Um, if you can check out a video that I've done about Hours of Darkness, it's good. I quite like it. I mean, it's very short, but there's some good stuff in there which uh, uh, I talk about in the video. But check that out after this if you fancy a little bit more Ian in your life. It's all part of the season pass. Oh, okay. All part of the season pass. Where are we going? Where are we going? I guess we're going. I had a lovely time at the seaside earlier. Let's do that again. Let's just fly up the coast. Get some bits and pieces from a, a, a seaside resort. And then make my way in. What is this? Every day, da -da 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 -da. there's nobody here to blow me away. Glad I finished that sentence. Da -da 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 -da. I'm gonna loot with you night and day, every way. <laughs> so the vectors have been uh, have been vastly improved, is what I'm hearing from uh, various sources in the video games world. Uh, they've been they've been buffed. I think uh, I think that's what I think that's what you call it. Buffed. That's what uh, that's what people say when they haven't seen me for a while. They say, "Ian, have you been, have you been buffed?" Ooh. I'm like, mm, yeah. So maybe I'll maybe I'll stick with a little bit of a vector. Get rid of the shotgun because there is a there's an AK. Okay. Thanks for the link, doggy. Let's put a link to the uh, 
Well, what I did there was I picked up the wrong gun, or dropped the wrong gun, and then got confused for 32 seconds. Uh, Dougie's put a link in the channel to the uh, Far Cry 5 video if you want to check that out. Far Cry 5 Dulce video. Let's have that then. AK-47 for snipies. Powerful, oh, isn't it? No, no. Sorry, AK-47. I did love you. But then my favourite gun appeared. And I'm afraid I love that more. One for me. One for me. You can go. You can go. No, you can go. You can get in my mouth. I mean, in my pocket. Vectors have been buffed, but not the polygons and the textures. Says uh, Ian Stanbridge. Yes, that's just wishful thinking, I, I think. Look at M4 with a four times scope on it. Oh, I really want to, just, I want to go on holiday. This, that's what this map makes me want to do. It makes me want to go on holiday. It makes me want to have a lovely time in a sunny, in a sunny place by a beach. Some, you know, an ice box. A bunch of nice ice cold beers in. Oh, that'd be nice. What else? What else would be nice on a beach? Some like beach jorts, beachwear jorts. That'd be nice. A little bit of music. The portable, portable Bluetooth speakers with pump, pumping out some of some of my favourite tunes from uh, Eurogamer singing the PUBG hits. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? That'd be lovely. Nintendo Switch to play on the fucking beach. That'd be nice. A bit of armour. A little bit of armour for the beach. That'd be nice. Lonely Island AF says Claire the Loon. Hello, Claire the Loon. How are you doing? Lydia Ho. Hello, Botswana Gaming. How are you doing? Hope you're having a lovely day. I need to, I need to go south. I need to go south real quick. I'm not going to get going to get a big load of gas in my face. What I want to do is get into this... Fuck, I don't want to be in this red zone. What I want to do is get into the safe zone before the gas hits me so that I don't have a panic gas death like uh, last match. Which would be nice, huh? Here we go. Running through the trees. Game reminds me of being a kid. Took hours building Lego bases with a friend and then proceeded to draw, destroy each other's in an instant. Yeah, that sounds about right. That does sound about right to me. I've uh, got open doors, or at least one open door here. No, okay, just one open door. Oh, fuck it up. Right, where's that from? Is that from a building over there? Can't see the. I can't tell where that those gunshots are coming from. Oh great! Pick up one bloody building with no windows on my side. I wanted to look out of. Ooh. A little bit more ammo to give the guy who kills me. See you later, sucker. You'll never see me up on this uh, hillside with no cover. My strats aren't great. Balls. Buggering balls. Stupid leaves. Where are you? Let's look at the map quick. 
let's just keep running. Fuck it. Run away. <clears throat> That's how you play PUBG under fire from a person in an unknown location with a car 98. Don't worry, keep looting. Ian Guide 101. I mean, listen, I know you're being sarcastic there, famous stranger. I can tell, I can, I can read your tone. I can read your tone in your words. It's worked so far, though, hasn't it? Look at me, still alive. Just, I've really fucking jinxed myself now, though, I bet. Any second now. Any second now. Car 98. No. Oh, okay. Fine. Love a, I'd love a, a little bit more of a sturdy helmet, though. A bit better armour. Ooh, butt pan. That'll do. That. All right, these definite doors are open here. Definite doors open scenario here. Did I actually get hit by any of those bullets? I don't think I did. I think the the little hurty burny there is from uh, the gas. How far have I got to go? Ooh, got a bit of distance. I've got 27 seconds, so let's, keep, let's go this way. <clears throat> um, running away from the shooty bangs. Yeah, I can't. I just find it hard to spot people on this map because uh, of all the foliage, I think. And maybe, uh, maybe because my eyes are just so old, so old. It's a nice rock. People 40 left alive. I haven't seen anyone yet. One person's seen me, but you know. He was like, he just got, he got lucky, that guy. He got lucky. If I'd have seen him first, whoa, I tell you, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't have got away. He wouldn't have been able to loot another day. That's for sure. That's for sure. I am closing in on the. On the safe zone, though. Oh, I'm also closing in on an area with like zero cover, so that's awkward. I'm going to stick to kind of like these shadows a little bit. All right, I'm safe. I'm in the safe zone. I'm not going to get a big, I'm going to get a big water gas in my face. If I was a bad person who wanted to kill me, where would I be? I'd be behind me! Mm. I'd be behind me! Mm. I'd be behind me! Mm. Mm. These guys are clever. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide here in this murder bush. A little dance in the murder bush. Just wait, because the gas is nearly here. And I'm going to see what the circle does. See what it updates to. Okay. Oh, you bugger. Look at Miles. Here we go. It's a fun run. Going for a fun run towards almost certain death. So yeah, I, I, I'm not sure about this map. Uh, I like how it looks and I like the idea of it. But I'm not sure I like the way it makes PUBG play. It makes PUBG play I, I, I quite like the, the really long games of PUBG where you're getting some cars and you you have a loot and then you can like have like crazy like shootouts, uh, you know, defending a, a big building or something. You know, I don't really feel like I get those kind of things in this game. We're often just shot by someone I have no idea where he is. He's like hiding in a bush somewhere, and it's it's. Uh, I don't know, maybe I like it when it comes out full 
you know, full release. But I still think my favourite map is the desert map. I just, I just I like the kind of more. It's still very open, but there's some big towns in there. I really like the town to town fighting, like you know, the house to house fighting in 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 PUBG. Like Erangel's got some nice towns in it, like Pachinki and. Uh, uh, Yasnaya and stuff like that 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 have good good towns to fight in. And this it just you know every house is like pretty much single story. There are some towns in this place because the circle moves so quick you, you can never really uh, hide in them too long. It's that whole the old the old kind of uh i don't know if you've ever seen the the old movie young guns with uh Kiefer Sutherland and um what's his face in it Charlie Sheen and Charlie Sheen's brother that's not called Sheen uh, <laughs> like where they all hold up at the house at the end i like things like that where you're defending like a bunch of people coming in and this feels a lot more like just run and gun almost yeah, these little moments of quiet where you're hiding, but yeah, I don't know. It doesn't have the same kind of war story, emergent gameplay that I, I like. It's more fast-paced and Fortnite-y, just shoot, spawn, shoot, die, spawn almost. Well, it is for me anyway. Hey, Gola19, how you doing? Uh, he says, how's he done? I've done just uh, standard. Got some kills, got more deaths. There's people shooting over there. Ah, you bugger. Every time I've got to move again. Yunk. Yunk. Just making sure I can't see anyone running over those hills. So the circle's pretty small now, so I'm gonna oh shit. I'm gonna push up around the back end of the circle. Keep to the slow end. Got a bit of uh, got a bit of height advantage up here as well. Got the high ground. How long have I got? I've only got 15 seconds till it starts pushing though. Probably need to curl around a bit. There's some buildings here that are scaring me a bit. A bit open. Okay, that sounds like, sounds like a bunch of gunfire up ahead. There are a lot of buildings up ahead actually. Hopefully anyone close is paying attention to that gunfire and not These houses are in, so maybe I can use the cover of the plane to run in, undetected. Trees up everywhere, so I can't. Got no line of sight. Oh, that's someone super close. Where is he? He's there. He's there. What the? That was odd. I 
think he's just behind that rock. Oh, oh no! Every time! Fuck! Every time I put a fuck. Put a bottle of pills near my mouth, I get killed! So my plan there was to put pills in, run into the blue, and then shoot down at him through the blue, but. <sighs> Fuck. Well, that's a suitably, uh, suitably stupid uh, death for me to end this stream on. <laughs> So all that time, I had that guy in my sights, and for some reason it wasn't letting me shoot him through the stairs, um, which was annoying. Uh, and he knew my exact position, even though I had uh, a sniper, a, a silencer on, so I don't know. So yeah, uh, that's done. That's uh, another another calamitous PUBG stream. So uh, thank you very much, everybody, for checking it out. Next Tuesday, um, I don't think we're going to be streaming at all. I don't think we're going to be able to stream at all next Tuesday because it's still going to be E3 and I'm probably going to be in the office at Eurogamer. So it may not be a stream next Tuesday at all, but the Tuesday after, we will try very best to have the whole team together um, once more for uh, for some more PUBG ness action. So uh, I hope you've had a I hope you've had a fun time. Uh, I've had a giggle, as I always do. So thank you very much for uh, for 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 uh, coming along and having a lovely time with me. As uh, Gavin says, all you lovely people. Thanks to the moderators for keeping everyone safe as well. And uh, obviously, big thanks to Brendan for letting me in his battlegrounds. Didn't thank him at the start of the stream. It's probably why I did so bad. Uh, do have a lovely day. If you want to see me stream a little bit more later on, I'm going to be streaming some H1Z1 on the PlayStation 4 over on my personal YouTube channel. I may even get some kills with that because I won't be using a mouse and keyboard. I'll be using a controller. So, uh, yeah, come along to that if you want. And do have, uh, yeah, a lovely day. Thanks for watching. Bye, Zs.